trying to slow it down.
died in 1873 trying to save his boat from a storm. He was the first to be buried in the cemetery. <clears throat> in that row along where the rhododendron is, you will also see the grave of Private Mortimer Fassett. Mortimer Fassett came here from Vermont. He left a wife and two children behind when he came to California in 1860, and he joined the 4th California Infantry. He was sent to Fort Yamil in Oregon. He soon discovered that court life was not what he wanted it to be. The fort's lieutenants made the soldiers drill, and if they made a mistake, they would beat out arbitrary punishment. It got to the point so bad that 17 of the soldiers, including Fasson, simply refused to drill. They knew they were going to be court-martialed. They wanted their grievances known and were all shut up in the guardhouse of the fort awaiting trial. But then, before his trial came up, Mortimer and one other guy escaped. <laughs> Mortimer went off to Canada and hid out there for a while where he met a Canadian lady with whom he was farming at Cookville in, on Whidbey Island in 1870. And they both ended up here. She is in an unmarked grave next to his. Beside Nathaniel Fowler is Jack Price, also known as John D. Press from Virginia. Jack Price must have been a big hunk of a man because he was in the artillery. At the close of the Mexican War, he joined the first U.S. artillery and was sent to Fort Steele here in Washington. And then in 1855, he was in the Washington Territorial Militia. He worked his way up here. He never married. He has no family connections that I know of. His shining moment came when he was transporting the mail in a small boat across the mouth of the Snohomish River. He was taking mail from Muckleteo to Priest Point near Tulalip. His boat got caught in a sudden squall. He had the mail and one passenger in the boat. His passenger could not swim. So Jack Price, that big hunky guy, held up the boat while treading water and waiting to be rescued. That was not good for his health. He died a few months after and is buried here. And number four, beyond that tree over there is our unknown soldier. It says Mikalsu on his bronze marker. That is not his name. It's almost certainly some variant of McAllister. If you have any information about Private McAllister, please contact the Muckleteo Historical Society. by the lighthouse, you will see a framed plaque that has a list of military personnel who served from Mukilteo during World War II. Some of these are of Gold Star families. The list includes servicemen from the Brodniak, Dutter, Lossvar, McCormick, and Sinclair families, relatives of families that are buried here and living relatives like Eagle Scout Jacob Ross. When you move about the cemetery, take a look at these veterans' last resting places and take time to reflect on the impact that Muckleteo's veterans have had. Some came to Muckleteo from distant places, some sent their sons into distant places. For all their service, we give thanks. Now please welcome his honor, Mayor of Muckleteo, Joel Marine. Uh, I'd like to first uh, thank the Historical Society for continuing to put this on every year. Uh, it is the right thing to do, and I want to thank all of you for missing the mattress sales to be here. Uh, this is much better use of your time on this beautiful day here in gorgeous view. And, and I ask you, you know, wouldn't it make sense to, we could possibly, maybe a mayor or two could be buried here? And they said, well, yes, if you do it within a year. <laughs> so I, I'm not doing it. 
<laughs> I'm not taking them up on that. Um, so again, thank you so much for coming uh, out here today. Thanks again. Uh, I think it says poor cat, but <laughs> you guys grew a number. Thank you very much. Uh, so let me, uh, and how many of you are aware, this is the 155th anniversary of Memorial Day. Was anybody here? <laughs> All right, good. good. Uh, but it is right that we honor uh, those who made that sacrifice for our country to keep us free. And what better place than, than small town USA, right? Uh, how many of you here from Muckleshoot? Yeah, well, most of you. This is good. Um, so thank you for choosing Muckleshoot as your home. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going on almost 30 years, and I'm still a newcomer. So. Um, uh, yeah, thank you. It's, it's all of the people that really make Muckleshoot what it is and the history. And we work very hard to try to really educate people on the history of this community. And I don't know how many of you know, this was, this was literally the first, this was the county seat for Sonoma County. This was one of the first uh, communities. It was the first post office within our uh, postmaster was here in Muckleshoot. So now Everett gets all the, you know, the acclaim. But, it was Buckle Teo first, so. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Today we gather here on this important day to honor and remember the brave men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice in service to our great nation. Memorial Day is a day of remembrance, a day to pay tribute to those who gave their lives to protect the values and freedoms that we hold dear. As a mayor of Buckle Teo, it is both an honor and a duty to stand before you and speak on behalf of our community as we reflect on the sacrifices of our fallen heroes. Memorial Day is not just another long weekend or an opportunity for barbecues and relaxation. It is a time to stop and acknowledge the immeasurable debt we owe to those who fought and made the ultimate sacrifice in the name of freedom. Today we come together as a community to express our gratitude and respect for those who have served and for those who continue to serve our nation in uniform. In Mukilteo, we are fortunate to have a rich history of patriotism and long-standing tradition of honoring our veterans. Our city has a deep appreciation for the sacrifices made by our military personnel and their families. We have witnessed firsthand the courage and dedication displayed by our service members, and we are forever grateful for their selflessness. On this Memorial Day, let us remember the fallen heroes whose names are etched into the fabric of our nation's history. Let us honor their memory by ensuring that their sacrifice is not in vain. We must strive to preserve the values they fought for, freedom, justice, and equality. We owe it to them to protect and defend the ideals that make our nation strong and vibrant. But let us also remember that Memorial Day is not only a time for reflection, but also a time for action. It is a time to support and care for the families of our fallen heroes to provide comfort and assistance to those who continue to bear the burden of loss. We must extend our gratitude beyond words and actively engage in acts of kindness and service to those who have given so much. As we honor the fallen, let us also express our heartfelt appreciation for the men and women currently serving in our armed forces. They stand on the front lines, defending our freedoms and protecting our way of life. They too deserve our unwavering support and respect whether they are stationed overseas or serving here at home, let us reach out and express our gratitude for their commitment and sacrifice. In Muckleteo, we are committed to supporting our veterans and active duty military personnel. We are continuing to work with various organizations on ways to support our veterans. Recently, I met with an organization interested in having a veterans memorial plaque here in Muckleteo, which is something I'm certainly supportive of. We must remember that our efforts should extend beyond Memorial Day as the needs of our veterans persist throughout the year. As we gather here today, let us not forget the true meaning of Memorial Day. Let us honor the memory of our fallen heroes by living lives of purpose and service. Let us carry their spirit with us as we work to build a stronger, more united Makoteo and a nation worthy of their sacrifice. May we never forget the debt we owe to those who have given their lives in service to our nation. May their memory serve as a constant reminder of the cost of freedom and the responsibility we bear to preserve it. And may we always strive to honor their legacy 
by living lives that embody the ideals they fought and died for. Thank you, and may God bless our fallen heroes, our brave men and women in uniform, and the United States of America. United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, I would like to bring uh, VFW 2100. They are going to do the flag ceremony.